Yeah, I don't think it can. The, <laughs> I mean, what it, the only way China, the China's got this big problem, which is so much of its uh, reserves are tied up in dollars. So that if it were to cut off the credit line in dollars, uh, how would it maintain the uh, exchange rate, the fixed exchange rate that it has? I mean, it would only be able to really do that if it allows the yuan to appreciate. And so it's buying these, it's accumulating dollars because they sell goods to the U.S., the dollars show up in China. What do you do with those dollars? Well, you can either buy treasuries with them. You could hold them in green piles in the bank, but that's really the same thing. You can buy goods in the U.S., which is what we would like them to do. And if, I, I mean, I think ultimately that's what should happen. I think ultimately China will decide they will are a big player in the international economy. They will not be able to maintain the fixed exchange rate. They'll have to go to a floating exchange rate. And their uh, dollars that they own will depreciate because yuan will appreciate relative to the dollar. So that, in fact, some of their nest egg will be eroded by doing that. And so they're not anxious to do this. They prefer the status quo. All the talk they have, in my opinion, about uh, the U.S. doing, moving to special drawing rights or some other kind of reserve currency isn't really what they want. They like the status quo the way it is now, and I think they're going to continue this way uh, as long as they possibly can, but ultimately are going to let the, they're going to have to let the economy open. It's just too big an economy. You can't, you can't run it without uh, allowing capital flows in and out. I think what's going to ultimately happen, if, if, the econ if the Chinese economy can be opened so that currencies are, are convertible, Chinese tourists can take money and go see the world, Chinese businessmen can go and, and buy property in the U.S. and, and, and France and every place, all of a sudden it's just going to be a blossoming global economy. I think it's going to be good for everybody. And I think the Chinese consumers are going to ultimately drive that because they have a lot of money. Many of them do now. And they don't really have an easy way to spend it. They don't have an easy way to travel. We, when Japan was this big power in, in the uh, and, and grew so rapidly in, the, in, I guess, the 80s. We saw Japanese tourists everywhere f for the first time. It was the first thing we saw. But we don't see this large influx of Chinese tourists is what we would expect to see. And, and New York is one place where you might expect to see a lot more of them. Uh, it's going to happen. They travel all over China. You go to China and you see it's all this tourist spots are full of people, but they're all Chinese tourists because that's where they go. That's, you know, they can't really go out of the country very easily. So I think it's going to be a, a happy day for everybody in China and outside of China when, when this, these borders are opened a little more. Mm -hmm.